Asia class liner, magnitude 3.0, 17 minutes ago. Hello. Hello, world. Hello, my friends. I wish you can hear my voice pretty good now. <clears throat> Hello, my friend, my folk, my foreigner. I wish you can hear my voice pretty good. And I wish you to understand my accent. Whatever I shall say today about the ship and World War III updating. First of all, I need to know that you can hear my voice pretty good. Anybody? Please inform me. Hello, test one, two, three, four, five. Hello, test one, two, three, four, five. Hello, test one, two, three, four, five. Okay, first of all, right, we have to start with the spectator.com about the what may really happen. Don't forget that this sunspot, it uh, came from the previous one, uh, 3112, right, that turned around to upfront again. And this one had produced egg flare and many M flare. So, if you observe that when the when the sun transport rotation back from from the back side from the far side of, of the sun in about this area on the east limb many sunspots had produced x ray or x class flare and very strong M flare on the east limb right here around this area and when the sunspot grow to the middle and go to the west the energy had come down something like that so in this side of the sun it must have something that has strong energy that influence the sun's energy and make the sunspot explore the huge flare out of the sun so in this area, it's supposed to be have some star or some sun or some solar system in this area. And when the sunspot move forward to up front facing Earth, the energy is going down. And sometimes, somehow, when the sunspot move to the west limb again or the west side, energy just pop up. Therefore, many people say that the alien try to save Earth because when the sunspot rotate to the to facing the Earth, the sunspot energy or corona hole energy are going down. I don't have any solid information to confirm about that yet, but many things so strange. That during this time, I have to spend my time to construct the bunker shelter for my friend. So three, two, 
थ्री फोर ईस्ट थ्री वन वन टू राइट हियर सो मेनी एम इन थ्री डेज एंड इफ वी लुक द डाटा फॉर सेवन डे फ्रॉम द एक्स फ्लैर राइट हेट लो एटलीस्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एम आई एम नॉट श्योर दैट वेन द नासा वन टू खाओ दोलर फ्लैर दे ऑन वे खाओ द मैक्सीम वन बट एट द सेम रिव्यू or any curve or any energy that pop up or just climbing up they don't count it at all but for me i have to to concern in each wave of the solar fair so we can predict more this ester at on earth right here so many graph indicate that the sun spot and corona hole is not stable and the sun magnetic and the plasma it not good at all and sometimes somehow many time they have no data from the colorado this one uh, border magnetometer should be at border colorado state and again we can see many uh, energy released to the west rim of the sun and many energy have been the least at the far side can spot 3112 that turn back from the far side to be 3234 you can see that sun spot or the filament or any eruption the sun had the least many energy and one more thing that we have to concern about it most of the sun spot at the north hampshire and south hampshire but in the equator it it doesn't have any sun spot only the sun corona hole it interesting we have to think about what is really going on on our sun you can see that the plasma the energy on the rod of sun at the corona hole that release what i have to say that uh, more energy more plasma to the space not only to our earth but to the space right here you can see that the twister the yeah, the filament had to twist up right here to be the prominence right here this area too so those filament yeah, or prominence that they lead from the sun also uh create corona mass ejection to the space and some of them in the first direct again earth has been bombarded by radiation more than 6 months so day by day every day you can see that strong radiation occur okay, and flow from the sun to earth and one more thing that i has uh, observed so many time usually when the big solar fair happen is on more right here in the ocean not on the mainland not on any continent and we really feel that happen on continent and so the the water must have some effect or i'm not quite sure okay i say nothing at this time until i get the solid evidence i shall tell you more I'm not really concerned about the aurora because it it not really affect to the human or animals. I concern about the solar flare and solar storm. Of course, 
Aurora can indicate something, but it's not really get the direct effect, or it not really create the disaster at the north pole or the south pole. Just energy pour to the earth core through the north pole. Some from the south pole, and many times at the equator. The wavelength of the electron content really strong, and you can see now most of the energy it at the south hemisphere because right now at the south it the summer, at the north it's still winter to spring. Look at the energy again and again. Many strong energy had hit Earth magnetic field in the backside or at the at night, something like that. Therefore, you can see that a lot of proton right here. The density is pretty high. So, somehow, somewhere, some other solar system or some other suns had released a lot of plasma to Earth at the backside, at the north and south, dawn and dusk. Pressure. We have very few solar flare and solar storm, but the pressure is still high on the round of Earth. So if you feel some while waiting, head eight, stomach eight, or nation syndrome, you should be like that. You have been affected by the electromagnetic force. Your brain and your heart, you get more effect about that. Now, sunspot. Right here, three, two, three, four. Should be the danger one. 3229, the spot number have been decreased and the area have been decreased too. So even if this one have the uh, beta and gamma or delta, it could not release any air today or the day after tomorrow, something like that. But right here, 3234, even you have about the beta energy, but the area and the sunspot number in this group pretty high. How about 3230? Not really, not really tough. So, during this time, we have to concentrate on 3234. Right here, about the explosion from the, from the sun. Some of them are earth direct, but during this time, it's not really earth direct because the angle of the solar, solar flare and solar storm it in this angle, you have to think that the sun so big, so huge, so the angle is not really uh, earth direct. Solar flare hit us with the radiation. Solar storm it doesn't. It moves to another way, but when the sun rotate, something like it. Later on, those CME or those solar storm will hit Earth anyway, but less energy moderate to rover it not only really get the effect too much for the earthquake and volcanic activity okay. 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 Sorry, someone just walked in. <laughs> you can see that so many things has explosion in this way at the far side. This is the zero ahead. This one for the seismic data area. The Wendland Bill has been dropped down from time to time, but not really tough one. 
but you can see energy that hit Earth at up front, and another another energy in the backside. Right now, the solar wind speed about forty something. It, that's normal, but the north magnetic field and the southern field is pretty weird, and sometimes somehow there are not any magnetic field at all. See the shape is not very good in the south pole. Strong energy without any magnetic field at the north and south. So they indicate that the pole ship is coming pretty soon. The worst one should be indeed coming June. Anyway, it will happen pretty soon, not over 2028. This year, 2023rd, right? Not over five years, but it can start at any time from this coming June. Pretty weird energy at the North Hampshire, right? From the North Pole to the Northern America continent. And you take a close look, many energy just pop up about 40 degrees and 30 degrees sometimes, somehow near by equator. That's when I say that the energy from space can go to the Earth at any angle, at any attitude, not only from the north or from the south. Because right now we've got the leak at Earth magnetic. We have the leak at the ozone layer, upper and lower. Here, the movement of the magnetic at the north, they are swing to the westward a lot as usual, but sometimes somehow it go downward too much. This one the uh, unusual or unusual. Overall, it is this one. Solar wind is normal, about forty something per second, but the north magnetic field swing a lot. It means some star or some sun has uh, another gravity or electromagnetic force you know, to the Earth, not magnetic. Again, the human resonance or Earth heartbeat pretty low, about 1.3. Right now it about 3 to 4 hertz. It's not a flat liner yet, but the frequency is unusual again and again. When we got hit by CME or a lot of plasma, we get less cosmic ray, but those pop up cosmic ray had at least more energy to the Earth core. So at any time, we can have the volcanic activities. Even during that, that time, no more CME to hit Earth, but the strong energy okay, that top up from time to time until the straight go up. Right here you can see that most of the earthquake are at the plate, boundary. New Zealand, Indonesia, Sumatra, even up here at the northern of Himalaya. And again in my country, something wrong, almost three days. This one has been set by the U.S. military uh, during and after the Vietnam War. This uh, data indicated PM 
one. It's very smaller than PM 2.5. Again and again, how could we have PM 1 on Himalaya? It's pretty high, about five kilometer to 10 kilometer above the mean sea level. Of course, this is the highest land on earth. Therefore, many dust or many gas pop up to the earth loop. Even the sulfur dioxide too. The sulfur dioxide on the around the world. How could we get a lot of sulfur dioxide on the Indian Ocean? You can see that. It's not good at all. It means uh, some crack at the Earth's crust has been this area. So many cracks. Those cracks allow the sub dioxide that used to be between Earth's crust and the magma layer pop up to the surface and to the sky. I hear some sub dioxide, right? Oh, this one PM1, sorry. PM1, this one sub dioxide. Again, a lot of sub dioxide at the Himalaya. I share with you about the World War III later when I get more information. But at this time, see you soon. But you have to buy the iodine pill for yourself. Any place on Earth you get affected by the gamma radiation from the nuclear. Not only from the bomb or not only from the missile. The nuclear radiation will come from any power plant and any lab battery on Earth. Try to find the iodine pill for your and your family. You have to use that pretty soon. Maybe within this coming April. See you soon.